Good morning, everybody. I'm Sharon Wilcox, your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I'm coming live to you from Chesapeake, Virginia. A um, few things to show you today, and boy, you know, we're at the end of July, and Saturday is my birthday. It's a big birthday for me this year, and as many of you know, um, I'm going to Vegas with, um, I'm taking with my daughters, my stepdaughter, which I don't like to call her my stepdaughter, but um, Mary, um, John's daughter, and also one of my two daughter-in-laws. The other daughter-in-law chose not to go with us. Um, she has a two-year-old, two-and-a-half-year-old, so I guess she just wanted to stay home with her. But um, we're all going to go for five days and have a wonderful time. So whether you're joining me live or you're joining me um, a little bit later or checking me out on YouTube, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Um, wow, I don't even know where to begin because this is kind of a discombobulated um, kind of thing. But there's things in here that I think you will enjoy. So I think what I'm going to start off with is going down to my desktop. There you go. That's a little crooked. I don't like crooked. And I wanted to show you the June paper pumpkin. You see right there it says June's. I am not sure why more people don't buy paper pumpkin. It is a once a month um commitment and you can go month to month you can do a whole year you can do six months you can do um, three months you can skip a month if you let's say that you did um, a three month subscription and there's a little peek sneak peek each month to see what it's going to be and if you think, eh, I don't think that's really my cup of tea skip it and then you go to the next month and so on and so forth and you can cancel at any time if you're interested in Paper Pumpkin, go to my website, which you can see right there at the top of the camera, at the top of my page there. See that? Um, SharonWilcox.StampinUp.net. Go there, find Paper Pumpkin, fill out the information, and um, remember to keep your password and all that so you can go back in there and cancel or skip a month or whatever you want to do. It's absolutely the best way to acquire stamps and ink. Um, this is what the June one looks like. And I did not get any alternatives made. Um, it's been busy for me. And I know we're all busy, but it is summertime. And I tend to do a bit less stamping in the summertime. But this also gives you alternatives on the back. And there's plenty of them on the website. Um, you can Google this little, not Google it, but scan that little thing, um, the QR code. Um, but it, everything you need is in here. Each month you get a new color of ink spot. This month is the Night of Navy. And even though they're little, they're big enough to go because they're raised above the box. You can use them on the largest of stamps. And that's what I love about this. You get all of the supplies that you need to create. And these are the card bases this month. This is just a nice navy blue. Look at this paper. Oh, it is so, so gorgeous. And this one, these are all the card bases. And then the envelopes always coordinate. And all of them are this, um, this month. So they will work with each and every one of these. So let me show you what the cards look like and here is this one now I changed the words on this because the words that came with it let me see if I can find it quick enough look at all of this extra stuff I haven't even used yet you get all of this um, labels you know things to stamp on punch out um, even the little vases to decorate, the little um, dimensional things, everything, everything you need, and the sticky strip, everything. But the words that they had put on that says, thank you for your hospitality. Honestly, I would probably never use that, so I didn't. I picked my, um, one of my favorite stamp sets is that 
um, all around greetings, I think is what it's called. I'm not sure. I've already hung it back up, but it's the one that has different sizes of thinking of you, happy birthday, um, thank you, and they're all different sizes and fonts, and I just love them. But look how beautiful this is. So this is actually the only stamping that was done on this card. So perfect if you are a beginner. You also got these wonderful little um, sticky back jewels. I didn't use any of those. Um, I just didn't do that yet. And then this is the next one, which is probably my favorite. I just think it's so beautiful. And this would make a wonderful shaker card. You could have easily done that by using a little window acetate, putting your jewels in there, and then you would have had a shaker card. But I didn't. I followed directions, but I am guarantee you I'll make a shaker card out of one of them. And the Hello Friends, that was already stamped for. So the only stamping I did was the little vase. Just adorable. And then this card, I did stamp this vase and the word thank you and I took the thank you from that set from that um from those words that says thank you for your hospitality and I just masked off the rest of it and used the thank you out of it it was cute size and I liked it so really really simple fun cards and then when you mail this you get these gorgeous envelopes to go with I mean who would not love getting this in the mail right I love it. I love it. So Paper Pumpkin to me is kind of like a no-brainer. And even as a demonstrator, if I want to stop or skip a month, I can do that. Um, all I do is go in there and do it. So I love that about the Paper Pumpkin. And um, this is also, uh, we're finishing up the end of this month, our, um, what is that called? Our our designer series paper sale that's 15% off so don't forget about that and this is also the end of this month um, you have until Friday I guess it is yeah Saturday is the first so Friday tomorrow is the last day today and tomorrow to sign up as a demonstrator and you get a hundred and $55 worth of product for $99. And it doesn't matter if you just want to get your discount as a demonstrator or if you want to make a career or anything in between there. It's a fabulous time to sign up. So again, go up there to my website, okay? And you can do all of that there. Um, or give me a call or a text. So this right here is called Horse and Slay. This is going to start July 1st. So on Saturday, you can order this. And I know a lot of people love to do Christmas in July. And this will be an online thing that you can order through the month of July. Okay. And I can't remember. This might be in the next mini catalog. But honestly, I cannot remember that. So don't. I'd have to look that up. Um, but. It's really a fun, versatile set. And there is this amazing designer series paper that is six by six that I know that I showed you last, um, not last week, but the week prior, I believe it was. Can you believe how gorgeous this stuff is? I mean, really, and both sides. Um, one side is all of the fun scenes and the other side is your patterns. And um, it is actually called One Horse Open Sleigh. So I'm going to show you. Look, it looks like 3D. I mean, don't those lights look like they're shining right at you? I love this paper. I would show you more of it, but I did that before. But I want to show you a couple of cards and a couple of quick thoughts on all of this. So this card is just using the paper and the background and I stamped the sleigh and horse I stamped this one and as you can see this is much smaller looking than this, this actual size right there it's a good size stamp look at that wow that's really big so you can see the difference in the size they can't put the full size on here to take up everything but um stamped it colored it 
ran it through the um, embossing stamp fold machine that I call Big Ethel because she just is a hard working girl. And the um, base of my card is Knight of Navy. And I took a piece of the designer series paper and I cut it and put it on there. That's all I did. So, so simple. I did finish the inside. And again, I wanted some different words this time. So I picked out words from this one that's in the current catalog called Regal Reindeer. And I do love the words in here. So that's where I got that. Wishing you a wonderful season filled with all the joy, all the good things that warm your heart and lift your spirit. Don't we wish that for everybody? And then, of course, I put the Merry Christmas and this little um, bear tree right here. I just love it. So I just did it all in navy blue on the inside and did the same thing with the envelope. So if you're ready to get started on some Christmas cards, Saturday you can start ordering that and it is a awesome fun fun set I haven't even you know hardly done anything with it um, there's so so many ideas I'm going to show you a couple things today now this one is there's my little envelope now this one is just the sleigh as a shadow and the card opens this direction and I did put the greetings up here. Now there are a ton of these out there on the internet that you can look and see, but um, some of these were demonstrated this past Saturday. We were able to do a an online um, little, um, well, it was all day, actually quite a few hours, um, uh, little online, zoom thing with Stampin' Up! and different demonstrators showing us all kinds of things and not only demonstrators but some of the staff at Stampin' Up! of course but um, look how effective this is it's just so beautiful it's hard to tell is that the sun coming through or is the sun setting there I just thought that was so beautiful it makes a fast and easy Christmas card. So I did use the words in here, wishing you a season of joy and a happy new year. So all of that is from here on the little, little bunny rabbit jumping there. So I thought those were really super cute, fast, and easy. Now I've got something else to show you here. And um, I can't remember what month I showed you this, but this is the cutting and everything. And I know I showed this to you, um, and I didn't pull out the other samples. I just went ahead and created, well, almost created. I'm going to do it right here. But this is what that fold looks like when you get that all done. So quick shot if you want to do a little um, quick um, capture that. So this is Knight of Navy that I've got here. And using the designer series paper, if I can find it all, this is what this will look like. And let me just go ahead and put this on here um, because it's only going to take a moment to do this. And um, these pieces, I probably could have cut them down just a little bit more. But I didn't. Let me, let me open this back up. I'm not getting that on there. Just exactly the place I want it. So let's go right like that. All right. And mm, this one is the bottom. I know I had another side piece here. It may have fallen. Ah, I don't see that side piece at the moment. It's already cut, so I don't want to cut another one, but let's go ahead and attach this piece right here to this part. And you can use any paper, you can use any design that you want. I just wanted to use this, and this piece will go across the bottom here. And this was one piece of this designer series paper that I just trimmed to fit on here 
And you know, I thought I just had that. Let me take a quick peek, see if I sure don't see it on the floor anywhere, but you'll get the gist of it. Okay, and so normally I'd have my other tree right here. And as I said, that was just cut off of that designer series paper. Oh, there it is, it was hiding. I knew I had cut it. And I'm gonna open this back up to place this on here. It's easier to see where I'm placing things. Yeah, well, that's pretty good. Yeah. And we've got that folded. Isn't that a gorgeous scene? Now, the fun part is that it's simple because I just cut this out um, of black. Yeah, that's all I did. And I'm going to add just a little bit of adhesive. You could use glue. You could use glue dots, whatever you want. But it doesn't take a whole lot. And we're going to put that right there, just like that. And because we've got all of this beautiful space up here, then we can stamp some words. What would we like to put in there? You know what? I think the perfect one, and this isn't even totally mounted, but that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and grab this and get a block. I'm not even going to put the label on it because um, I don't need to for this. And let's see, I've got some Knight of Navy here. And I have had somebody ask me before. I think I want that right here. Oh yeah. Isn't that beautiful? Peace on earth. Doesn't that look like peace on earth? That looks like heaven to me. I would love to be one in that sleigh. So somebody asked me before, well, that's a cute card, but what do you do? Where do you sign it? Where do you write? That's where you put a piece of white back here. And I honestly don't have one cut to size, but you get the gist of it. You just go ahead and mount that on there. I would probably put the little bunny or a tree back here as well. And, um, and away you go. Yeah, I've got some scraps here, but I don't have anything cut. And I don't want to take the time to cut that. But you understand what I'm saying. But you see how fast and easy that card is? And again, that is using this template okay so really a fun and easy one um i wish i could tell you it was one of my fun folds but i don't remember which one and then for an envelope i would probably just do the trees yeah i mean to, to duplicate this tree like these trees so there you go fast easy card and then let me show you because I know sometimes people are more much more of a visual person than um, than others. And I'm going to use another Knight of Navy piece of base card here. And I'm going to go ahead and cut this to fit on here. Now, a lot of people cut it and create a little frame like this, and there's nothing wrong with that. If you were going to do that, you would cut this piece down to four. By five and a quarter but I'm going to cut it so that it covers the entire <clears throat> um, the entire card base because I kind of like that look a little bit more so in this case our width is five and a half and it really doesn't matter which side you cut off. If you wanted this little gate to be right in the center, then I would say take a little bit off of each side because this is a six by six. But for me, it really does not matter. And then this is going to be four inches. And I think I'm just going to, no, it's not. It's going to be four and a quarter. Ooh, almost messed up there. I think I'm going to go ahead and take it all from the bottom. No, that's a fib. I'm, I'm going to take about mm, half an inch off of the top. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's better. And then this will be four and a quarter there. 
there we go. And I'll keep these and use them for other things. Isn't that just gorgeous? And so now this piece, and I'm telling you guys, this is one of the best paper trimmers. I just love it. So, um, so then this piece is going to get mounted right there. And let me show you how I like to do that. Now, normally I don't recommend using this much adhesive. You don't really need it just for mounting a card. But since this is on our base, I really wanted to get that adhesive all the way around. And I'm just using regular stamp and seal, not the stamp and seal plus. I hold this piece up and this piece that I have all of my glue on. And that's what I do. It's that simple. And now, I mean, it does not look like a Hallmark card or what. I think it's gorgeous. I don't know how you guys feel about that, but I just think it's gorgeous. Now we need to have our sleigh for this front piece. And this is piece, oh yeah, that's a perfect size. So I just have some scrap paper over here. Um, I am going to use our um, Memento ink. It's the best ink to use when you want a real good black and you're going to want to color it in with our um, Stampin' Blends. And you'll notice there's some solid image, solid pieces here. And what I do is I give it, you see that little twist? That's important, but then go back and tap. And that's gonna give you a really good coverage. And this is a um, photopolymer stamp, so I'd like a little extra cushion under there. And because photopolymer stamps don't have the cushion that our red rubber stamps have, so we got to give it a little cushion to get the best imprint. You don't have to, but I guarantee you that'll give you your best imprint. I like to hold on because you're going to hear this kind of sticks to my paper. Did you hear that? Yeah. So that's how you get a real nice solid black image. And I just love it. I think that is so beautiful. And then you want to take your <clears throat> Stampin' Blends. And for my sleigh, I... I'm a very traditional kind of person, and I absolutely want my sleigh to be red. And I want to show you something beautiful about our Stampin' Blends. Um, I also love coloring the sleigh because it has that black outline. So if you go over that, it doesn't really show. You know, if you go out of line just a little bit because you're touching onto that black. But this is how I typically color when something's big like this. I like to do my little outline and then I fill it in. And this is the beauty of these Stampin' Blends is that you can go back and do that and you don't end up with all of these um, marks, you know, marker lines and stuff because they're Stampin' Blends. If you're using our Stampin' Right markers, which are beautiful, you're probably going to end up with some, um, with some lines, you know. I wanted to add just a little bit of red onto our horse, onto his pieces here just to bring that out. Now you can leave your horse as a white horse. Um, you can create whatever kind of horse that you like. Um, this down here is a blanket and their coat and so on and so forth. I like to think that this piece right here is like a hand muff. Remember those? I had those as a kid. Um, I had a white fake fur one. So I went ahead and finished the coloring on it. I used real red, old olive, and uh, what shade of blue is this? Boho blue. I also used a little bit of our new bubble bath for her. And then just a little bit of, um, let's see what color. This is the Stampin' Up! last year when they introduced these, or year before. Um, they had numbers, so it's called, it's SU500, 
I'm not sure how they do them in the catalog this year, but it's a real soft, but any brown that you like or, or whatever color, you could use gray as well. But that's all I did with that. And then look at that. It's that easy. And I am going to pop that up just a little bit here with a couple dimensionals. I um, typically would probably use, um, pull out some of the smaller dimensionals as well, but I don't think I really need that. Um, and you can use your take a pick tool if you don't have fingernails. Um, but I just use my fingernails to pull these off. And the take a pick tool is just awesome in itself. And I'm going to put it right here. Look at that. And it's that quick to create a beautiful card. Now I will finish this card off by cutting a piece of white to fit on the inside. And look at this. I have a piece of white right here. Is it the right size? By golly, George, it is. Now, before I attach it to my card base, I would want to do my stamping just in case I make a boo-boo. Yeah, it happens. We all make boo-boos sometimes. And the last thing you want to do is be ripping that piece off that you've secured to the inside of your beautiful card and then end up with a little boo-boo. So I'm just going to give us a little tree here to mimic the tree that's in our background. And if you wanted to add a second tree, of course, you can do that. I'm going to leave it as is, and then I will add my words. So I'm not going to go ahead and attach that just yet, but that's how that inside will look, because I'm going to add um, Merry Christmas so on and so forth. I don't know yet what I'll use. But what do you think about that card? Isn't this just so fun to be able to do that? Okay, I am going to hop up here. I want to keep these out of the way so I don't forget to clean them. Um, let me hop up here. Here we go. All righty. Well, I hope you enjoyed the um, horse and sleigh that you will be able to order here starting on Saturday. I love it. Oh, I didn't even show you in the designer series paper, you can order that. And I didn't even use these. I'll probably go back and use these. Can you see these? A little glare there. These are um, adhesive back snowflakes and they are in, mm, does it say on here what color? I can just look at it. There's white, there's gold, and I think that is either copper or like a rose gold. It's really, really pretty. And then there's a lot of whites. There's two different sizes in here, maybe three. Three different sizes, I believe, yeah. So really um, fun. You get 90 snowflakes, nine zero, 90. That's a lot of snowflakes, yeah. So, um, I am headed, as I said, to Las Vegas. So next Thursday, um, I won't be live. Oh, wait a minute. Next Thursday. No, I won't be live next Thursday because we are leaving on Wednesday the 5th. Now, if I come live on Thursday, it'll be from Vegas and I probably won't have anything stamping to show you, but I might just pop in and let all the girls say hi to everybody. Um, but I'll be thinking about you because it's my typical Thursday life. And I do hope that uh, you have a fabulous week and a very safe 4th of July. And get out there and have a little family picnic Nick, and if you don't have anybody with you or around you to do a picnic with you, trust me, it is fun to pack up your own little picnic 
and take a little adult beverage and go to the park and enjoy and people watch if you don't have anybody else there to go with you because it can be fun you know life is what we make it you know don't um don't dwell on what you don't have focus on what you do have and be happy so until next time happy stamping and go out there and be kind to yourself and to others bye bye